There you go, we are live. All right, let's try this again. Let's try this again. Uh, delete, delete. YouTube is not very good at this. Okay. Doing this again. See if this works. Google Hangout started Hangout. Perfect. Is it running? Broadcasting and show. What's going on? All right. Let's test this. Testing. 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 One, two, three. Testing. All right. Attempting. painting of uh, Hellboy. All right, trying to figure this out. So excuse me, sorry people. I'm trying to figure out how to do this. Okay, how do I do f live streaming and still Let's see. Uh, okay. All right. This is just a test to see if I can get the live stream stuff to work. How do I add? Uh, my screen is shared. That's on real time. Uh, microphone, one, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, I don't know if. Uh, okay, adjust the mic. Is the speaker working? Let's see. Yeah, the speaker seems to be working. Let me switch that to regular speaker. Okay. You got it. All right. I'm going to try to do this tonight and see if this works. Okay. So I got Clip Studio open and I'm going to try to do this live stream. Okay. So it's about 9.37, uh, seven minutes late. Uh, trying to figure out how to use YouTube to do video live stream. Okay, I'm in my new office space. Uh, still got a lot of stuff to unpack in the basement. Um, so I'm going to try to do this as recording. Hopefully this works in my settings. See what I can do. Okay, so first thing first, let's get some inking done. My basic ink brush, uh, go 30, that's fine. Go in black, I have my sketch here. Hellboy, I do later. Just gonna turn down the opacity and let's see what I can do. That's my first new layer. Let's ink them. Let's ink them. Okay. And let's do inking of Hellboy. Okay, so. Canvas. Okay, so if I want, see what I can do. Okay, so. This is how I go about doing my process of stuff. I start with a sketch, then uh, either refine the sketch or have an idea with the sketch and just go straight into doing a rough 
after the rough. Create a new layer off of that. And uh, from the new layer, I would uh, start inking. Uh, more likely, if you're going to start this, pre plan your idea. Just don't jump right into it. Get a bigger brush. There we go. Not have to go over as much. So. My apologies to everybody. I'm still trying to figure out how to do this in uh, I should start setting down the other apps. Hold on. It's causing lags. Uh, let's see if I can do this off the screen, the secondary screen. There's my screen. Here we go. Let's see if I can turn off. The other apps. Here we go. It's just you and me hang out. Let's try this. Right. Yeah. Hey, if I go silent, it doesn't mean that uh, something wrong with the microphone this time. I'm going silent because I really don't have anything to say. So, let's see if I can uh, try to do this. I had an idea when I was sketching this that uh, I wanted to uh, test out. Hellboy drawing. I'm going to give him a more of a stone. Lines. See if this works. Go back a little bit out. Give him the horn. So if you just filed it down, more of an edge. Let's give him a 
classic bushy brow. Do here. Go over and press a little harder. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's get the general shape first. Huh? We're start doing all the other details in there. Keep forgetting that uh, I'm actually live streaming. Trying to get the ear right. Either he has Vulcan ear or for the other ear format. Okay. See. How am I gonna do this? So light seems to be coming from the top. Uh, let's see, his face should be here. Let's get some bigger brush. There we go. It's a big uh, Adam's apple at the bottom. All right, let's see what we can do back here. Just quickly uh, give him a shape so you can see a little bit better. 
t-shirt should hang down a little lower. There we go. All right, let's see. Where's my little neck muscles? Shape. All right, give him a definitely shape. All right, there we go. Shirt. I think this would be do with something with a coat. Coat, something big. What are we doing? What are we on time? Uh, 20, 30 minutes already. And I'm still inking, well, 20, 30 minutes in. All right, let's see if I can do this. Okay, so I am, when I'm inking, I'm trying to envision where the light's coming from. Shade that in. Under the neck. And uh, give the beard or the sideburn a little bit more uh, light and uh, see if they can get this to work. There we go. Give it a little bit more some light here. And I'll just fill it, you know. Just fill it. I don't want to be drawing it out all night. There we go. There we go. And then just a demo. And remember to hit save. There we go. Every time your mouse scrolls up, that means you're using up a lot of RAM. So that little scroll bar on your mouse or your pen just indicated that, um, uh, remember to save. All right. Let's do thicker. the hair. Give him some highlight in the back of the hair right there. Maybe some streaks here. Just indicate that look. Stuff part of the hair. And the rest is just bucket bucket. There we go. We'll do that clean up a little bit later. That's the hair tie. Let's do some uh, Basic gives it a little bit of shape. There we go. Tuck the head, get some highlight up here. You almost have to go to the edge, you know. Leave that little white space. So I'll paint it, I'll paint it blue or something. 
and close off the line if you wanna try not to leave little gaps like that or something like that. I'll show you what I'm gonna do next after a couple tests. I'm live, one viewing, oh good. Not sure who is viewing, but welcome. I'm testing out YouTube streaming. So I'm trying this out. Sorry for the uh, no audio, but um, trying to figure out how to use the YouTube and my equipment again. It's all packed away. I got a Yeti microphone here. Um, hoping you can hear the sound. Okay, get a bigger brush. There we go. There we go. That uh, feels better. Get another streak behind the ear so it looks like hairs. There we go. And I don't have any rhyme or reason. I just hate drawing hair. Hair is just a lot of ink. I should give it a more of a uh, round cap right back there so it looks like his head is a little more round instead of a flat dimensional shape. But uh, for the sake of time, let's paint in as much space as possible. There we go. Da 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 Okay. See. All right. Me looks okay. All right. Point now is we want to do painting, so let's do this. Give us some shades and under the neck. I'm not really concerned about the crotch hatching because uh, most likely when it comes to painting, I'll just paint underneath the neck to so never see the. Uh, form anyways and these things here should be some shadow underneath these just to you know give it shape kind of thing you'll end up cross hatching all night but I'm gonna not do that just give it a little bit more detail near the back ear should be you know there's some shadows in there Give him some shape. And I forget if he had uh, some sort of earring or something like that, but uh, we'll look that up next time. Right now, I just want to Scars up here, some crazy lines. As if you just, uh, what I liked about that Hellboy movie was um, the detail they did where, you know, he doesn't want the horn to stick out, so he's been sanding it so you can actually see um, our actor using the sander on it. That was like fantastic. Just that little bit of detail was nice for the Hellboy character. There we go. Give him a little bit more. Do we care? All right. Once a while, step back, take a look. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay. I want to give him uh, this stone, uh, you know, thin line stuff. It gives you an idea that, you know, maybe he's, uh, he's something different. Okay, 
So we got that. All right. What else is there? Uh, I don't know if the chat thing works, so. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure who's viewing. Uh, is this chat thing on? Not how it works. There we go. Ha. Yo. Okay. So I'm using Google Hangout for my streaming. So I'm just giving it a try before I use ODS, I guess, or something like that. Which is another piece of software I'm not really thrilled about trying to learn. You know, anything with open source, it's, uh, it's, uh, more of a learning curve. All right. Because I forget his left hand, left or right hand is a stone. So let's see what's up. And so I want to make him, uh, if he's holding up some, you know, his, uh, you see laggy lines and stuff. It could be, uh, Thing is that 600 dpi or something like that something ridiculous should have done it at 400 but maybe it is at 400 that's what i'm seeing okay give it a stop give it there you go thing about drawing stones is it's kind of neat you kind of you know Series of random lines and just to give it. There we go. Yes, this is part of his hand. Don't really have to complete everything. But the detail. Okay, so I'm going to thicken the edge a little bit here. You have an idea. Oops, too fast. Okay. Go around the edges, trying to make sure line's pretty much thick. And uh, I go over giving him thick lines. So it kind of looks the part. There we go. All the edges seems to be good. All right. Next thing is the shirt. Let's see, what do we want to do? I want to do maybe something like this. Okay. So concept is uh, there might be shadow here because light's coming down from above. And I'm just going to do a series of it's supposed to be a black t-shirt. And I want to give him a shoulder blade thing. All right, I'm trying too much right now. I should start painting soon. All right, let's do this. Bucket. Oh, oh, there we go. Perfect. Anyways. Not throw that space. Go a little bit bigger. Let's fill it in. Screw it. Didn't work all right. I don't. I can fill that with a brush later. Okay, so. Is the coat bent back? Give it some random lines through. It's like it's being one. Change brush size a little smaller. 
Hatching does, does help if you know how to do hatching. Um, but because for the sake of time, try and see. Okay, so what do we got? Perfect. Okay, close enough. So uh, next step is let's do, I'm going to show you in Clip Studio. There's a few things I do. I, because I have a rough sketch, usually uh, my rough sketch usually have like uh, shadows and, and other items behind it. But um, this time I turned it really down and I created a, um, a layer that was on top. So that's this space here. So this is the layer that's sitting on top of the sketch. So I'm just going to turn it off so you can actually see. So I'm going to zoom in so you can see. There we go. That was the rough. Then a new layer that went on top. So I'm just being very loose. Uh, then I just inked. Um, ideally, if you want, if you're starting out or something like that, try to work out all your uh, hatching, your shadows, your light as much as you can before you actually get to the inking part. Um, but because for the sake of time, I want to do, um, I want to show you my process for digital painting. I'm just going to skip right into it. Um, normally what I would do is I would create a new uh, group folder, take the ink, drop it in and just create new layers from there. But um, because we're going to do this, this is a good way to organize stuff. So if you have multiple characters, background, foregrounds, you can just drop them in a folder. Um, yeah, for sake of time, I'm just going to use this ink layer here. I'm just going to call it inked, give it a name. So that way I know. Um, if you don't want to mess with it later on, just hit that lock button so it locks your layer. This is just Clip Studio. Um, Photoshop has it too and all that stuff. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come here. I'm going to give him, because most likely Hellboy is a red tone, so let's go with a start with a dark red. Some people like to paint reverse where they go light to dark. Um, I'm uh, For digital, you just go dark to light. Um, in traditional media, uh, most cases, you probably go light to dark. Um, if you're doing watercolor, for example, you would just put down a, a thin layer of water. Then, uh, then you would, you know, apply the red. And as you want it darker, you would apply more and more and more if you want darkening. Because it's, it's harder to go light uh, with traditional media. Uh, harder to go light once you put things down on paper. Uh, then go back light. It's rather, if it's easier, just to go light first and add the layers in as you get darker. So that's really the really basic principle. So I have this magic wand thing and it's going to select the space around it. About Hellboy. That's why when you're inking, you always want to close as much of the gap as possible. So I don't know if you can see or not, but uh, I'll, on the outside, I'm just selecting all that white space because down here is where I want to paint on the inside. So the next thing you need to do is just go to selection and I'm just going to invert. Now I switched it. So now it only select just everything that's inside the Hellboy. Because I picked my initial color here in my color um, wheel, red, there's a little selection tool down here, a little bucket. Um, you can just pick the bucket or did I pick, oops, right. Because uh, if you notice the selection tool isn't highlighted, I don't really have to pick the bucket. Um, you just pick your color. For example, I just go and pick green. And because I'm on this layer that's locked, so I don't accidentally uh, paint on this layer, I'm just going to go down to this new layer that I created. It's just blank and I'll just fill it. So the shortcut key is this one here. So you can actually see I painted Hellboy green but again if you don't like the color you just go to red like that so what i'm doing is i'm applying my base tone now the white's a little powerful so it bugs my eyes so i'm just going to turn it off so i get this checkerboard thing behind it so you can see that was my first um uh attempt so this is my base layer um this allows me to select the shape and so forth right so you can go up to selection and just you know, deselect. Um, and this is normally what I do is I start with a base layer. Um, I always go with uh, base skin tone somehow, you know, whatever the character might be. And that's my base layer. So I'll just call it base, for example. So 
base color, right? Because that way I can come back here and just select this layer instead of uh, trying to figure out this layer because this 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 could be used for masking and stuff like that. Um, in Clip Studio, they have these things called um, what you call it? clip based on below. That means I can actually use uh, transparency. Uh, this is another tool here, lock transparency pixel. In other words, I can actually come here, click this tool. What it does is it locks transparency. So when I switch to let's say a, a a paintbrush and I go with a lighter, let's say a yellow here, this bright yellow and I'll change brush size. It allows me to paint, see, it locks it within place so it doesn't go beyond that. Uh, that's what tra paint transparency is. So that's, I'm just gonna turn that off for now. I use a series of tools that allows me to do this. Uh, I can also use a set of reference layer and other words, select this layer, uh, but it has to be unlocked first then you select it. Uh, so let's, in that case, let's unlock it. That is my reference layer. And now every time I you do something down here, I only, I believe it's the same process. Yeah, uh, no, nope, it doesn't do that. I think it has to do with the bucket. So if I go yellow, see what happens. Uh, tick, 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 tick. Come on. Oops, okay. Trying to remember how to use reference layer, but that's another time later. Okay, so let's turn off reference layer. So let me swap that back. So let's let's go back to the beginning. Okay, so I have a base layer, and uh, from the base layer, this is where I would create a new layer. Uh, click this tool for clip the layer below. So in other words, it uses this below clip right down here. This uh, painted layer has my uh, kind of like a mask, like a quick mask. So that way I can come in here and say, you know what? Um, all hair colors will be blue. So I'm just gonna pick the dark blue first. Come in here and literally just paint where do that. So I'm just painting within that space. You can see the da 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 trying to paint. Uh, that's a bad color to use. Uh, the red is really dark, so it's hard for you to see on your video screen, I'm assuming. I hope so. And you can see I'm, I'm just, um, the reason why I'm using blue is, uh, defeats the point if I paint it black, because his hair is really black, but, uh, the blue comes from, I guess, Marvel and DC when they start printing color for the very first time. Uh, because the ink lines were all black and they need to represent a way to do shadows. So they figured, well, uh, the other thing too was um, if you actually look at the real world, um, shadows and stuff like that are actually blue in color. But in this case, I'm assuming that's what they use. I think uh, there's a story about the Hulk being green. And the reason for that was because um, they couldn't get gray. Uh, an ink to work properly or something like that. So as you can see, I just did a quick outline. I'm just gonna switch to the bucket tool and just fill in the rest. Um, yeah, switch back to my paintbrush. Come on, paintbrush, there we go. Uh, when you're working at a large file format uh, for print, uh, it doesn't hurt to go 350. You can go large, larger. Um, the last cover I did was approximately 600 DPI. Uh, that's pretty big. Uh, it's a little overkill, but it's 11 by 17, uh, 600 DPI. Um, hoping to see it soon because it's uh, supposed to be, okay, so that's blue. Let's do the same thing for the t-shirt. Let's go with, uh, he's supposed to be wearing a black t-shirt if I remember. Um, Ron Perlman was the Hellboy in the, uh, movie well he was fantastic for that show some people didn't but yeah i liked it okay so issue is trying to paint okay hopefully it crossed over the line because that way you can use the bucket there we go all right bucket tool fill there yeah, perfect okay hopefully i got every spot <sighs> 
What am I doing? Oh, zoom out. There we go. Here we go. Hit. That's the blue. Uh, I'm trying to remember. I think that was the brown background. So I'm just going to paint a series of places. Um, let's go with um, what I'm doing is I'm just breaking down the, the layers themselves. Fill in the space for the eye. Okay, so I got the mustache, the hair, I'm gonna need to do the hair tie and the coat and uh, pretty much, okay, so the coat goes in the layer from the bottom, click add, as you can see, it's automatically referenced. So what I'm gonna do is because this layer is on top, right? This is the bottom layer, I'm gonna use it for the coat and let's make the coat, uh, let's make the coat. What's a good color for the coat? What is Hellboy's coat color? Yeah, let's go give him a leather. So we'll go with a mid-brown here. Here we go. As you can see, it's fantastic to um, use the uh, clip layer. That way I don't go beyond. And also, as you can see, um, the blue layer is on top. So that way I can just paint outside that border a little bit. Is your stickler for that? Um, there we go, brown, and because the coat showed up here, give it a brown color, there we go, so that way, I just use the bucket tool, fill, there we go, and as you can see, there's a little gap, I just keep tapping in that space, until that gap fills up, or use the brush tool. I know there's a settings in the bucket here where you can actually fill that gap a little bit more. But um, uh, depending on what brush you're using, if you're using like a thin uh, pen ink brush, that will fill in a lot faster. But if you're using like a paint brush, which I'm using, uh, which is a bad idea. Let's see, there's a gap here. It's hard to see. I don't know if you can see it on your screen, but I can see it on my end. There we go. Uh, it's not going to affect me that much. Okay, so I got Hellboy coat and probably let's do the same brown. Give him that brown, uh, the mid tone brown. There we go. For the hair strap in the back. There we go. All right. So, in this view, I only have an ink layer, uh, my base color layer, which is basically skin. Um, then I have a kind of like a layer for the coat and the hair tie. If I want to do the eye, that would be a different thing altogether. Uh, his uh, beard, ponytail, uh, goatee, and shirt, and a little bit of eyelid. Okay. So now here's the fun part. Uh, let's save that. What time do we have? Oh, it's almost an hour long. Uh, next time, maybe I'll do all the pre-base layer. Okay, so normally what I do is I paint using uh, saturation um, on my color wheel, going to lighter uh, as I uh, saturate. So um, what I'm going to do is let's assume a few things um, because I did some hatching already on the Hellboy here. Let me turn on the background and turn off there. So you can see here's the hatch and Hellboy. Um, I'm going to do, uh, I want to put uh, direct light or some sort of light coming in here. Maybe a little bit of rim light around the edge just to give them stand out because maybe, uh, you know, another light source from somewhere, a little bounce light and all this stuff. A shadow on his neck and maybe around the edge here and stuff like that. So uh, we'll start with the red. Turn off the background a little bit so you can see if I have any spill. So because I'm going to use the same masking layer technique, I'm just going to basically create a new layer here. This is where I'm going to paint on depth using shadow and highlight. So I'm going to go back to if you're not sure what color it is, use the eyedropper, pick your red, but I know because my color wheels is just pretty straightforward. I was end up picking the, there we go. So this is the same color. Um, 
normally what I do is I go up on spectrum or go across towards saturation. In other words, saturation just means you're going lighter towards the white, right? So, or if you go up to the red part, you're actually going towards the hue. Oh man, my color, my color thing is not very good anymore. It's been a while, it's all natural. So, um, but most likely you're probably gonna be okay. Um, so I'm gonna try to do, let's say, I'm gonna go with a, let's jump up in spectrum. Let's go with this uh, uh, red, maybe that's too much, but just to give you an idea. Uh, I'm gonna change the brush size a little bit bigger. Give you an idea of what it looks like. So as I paint, you can see I'm creating this fake depth right so you can see like that right let's go a little bit bigger your brush is a little bit bigger there you go so the more i apply don't worry about the little horn spot because you can actually paint over that spot again so as i you can see i'm not pressing as hard my pen and if a lot of the more i press or the more i go over that's more i get so you can see where i'm doing this there we go what we can do is um, we can go over, there we go. See that? Now I'm going really, really light, so you can see. And because I want the cheekbones to be a little bit more here, top of the ear, top of the ear, like that. Base of the ear, because some side there's a little. And I'm going really light right now. Um, as you can see, then down here, I don't really need that much red but just to give you an idea um you can just lightly touch and if i do this you can see i'm, I'm creating these little um, mounds as if they're muscle part of of his head and i'm just going really light as i go over it it gets darker and there we go right and just give it a little bit more in here so you can actually see there we go all right get a little bit bigger brush Paint around here a little bit, so it looks like it's feeding it through the lip. More light, and a little rim right there. Just lightly touch that spot. Then again, it's over here. This is a really large painting. That's why the brush is so huge. So um, you know, just keep an eye out for that kind of stuff. There we go. There we go. Okay, flip. There. Okay. As you can see, I'm just just doing this. Um, here, I want that. There we go. There. The same thing with the hand. You can be a little more harsh with the. I want shape. I want shape. There we go. And cast off a little bit more. All right. So you're getting the idea. I'm doing this Hellboy painting, right? So I'm just gonna do this. So what I'm gonna do is go lighter. Go lighter in tone. Oops, too much. Go a little bit further back. There we go. So what I'm doing now is just creating um, the the shape of the face or the, uh, the 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 texture of the face. I guess the shape, the tone. Um, by just going and going lighter on on the subject so you can see creating this little like so you go thinner and you can actually create these little cast lights like this around the edge right so you can actually see as if the, the light's coming from somewhere over here and it's causing that then if you use a thinner brush you can actually give it as if this part, because of this, I should be painting on the other side of the line. Try to get the other side of the line. There you go, see? Um, hopefully you can see that on screen. My apology if, uh, gotta make sure you can actually see that. 
So as if, um, you know, that part of his face is a little thicker than the other. And because sometimes it's a cast light that could just reflect it off his cheekbone a little bit. And you can just give it a little like this. So now there's a little bit more of a depth to, to Hellboy, right? Uh, I should use a little darker red. Then at the same time, because he's, you know, he's, he's a big guy. Just give him a, so the light's somehow also coming down from the top. And that's causing this part of his face to protrude a little bit. Uh, by all means, if, if you uh, got one of those uh, marionette dolls uh, that has detail on the face, try using that and put light on it or, you know, sit in a dark room and turn on your desk lamp and use that as a light source. It gives you an idea how this... Just that little bit gives him uh, see that? and I'm not doing very much, just lightly touching that spot and just to give it uh, something because this is the where most of the light will get, it's gonna be then you can you can see what I'm doing here. Want a little bit so it gives you an idea. Maybe there's uh, his skull is a little different, you know, his Hellboy, right? So, there, so, so you can actually see Hellboy's, you know, his, his head is his, his face is shaping into something you can, yeah, it's okay to go over. Because I, if I make a mistake, I can just still go over with the darker tone again and give it that more. I'm going to do this to the edge here. There we go. There's nothing, um, nothing stopping me from bringing the light at the top. Lights coming from man. Where are these lights coming from? All right, you're getting the idea. Hopefully, you you understood the idea. All right, all right. Let's see. Yeah. Remember in uh, school, if you actually did this, um, where. The teacher asks you to shade some squares and some cubes and stuff. Well, that's pretty much what drawing is or digital painting is. You're just shading some squares and cubes and tubes and stuff like that. All right. Let's give you an idea of what how boy looks like. Let's go in and get a little bit more of a red. Certain area. There we go. I want to give it as if there's a, uh, you know, the, the light reflecting off his skin and giving it a uh, a nice red tone underneath it, certain areas, there we go, there we go, No. 
kind of cool actually. I'm gonna do this. Give them a little bit more of a. Uh... Okay, time to go in and. Give a little bit more of highlight. too much. A little bit of there we go. All right, what are we doing? Coat, okay. So let's do the coat part. The coat again, we have brown. So, what I'm gonna do this time with the coat instead of creating a new um, layer, I'm just gonna paint on that layer, but I'm gonna lock in the transparencies. That's what this is for a lock transparency pixel. So I don't paint outside of that. So I'm just gonna come in here and maybe let's, again, like um, I can paint in dark to create the shadows, but why don't we just go dark and reverse it, okay? So I'm gonna take the bucket tool and just, if I did this right, there's, that's the gray, there's the gray, go up one, well, not gray, but brown. Brown shows up as that gray because it is more of a saturated brown than instead of a hue brown, which is more of a brown brown. Eh, eh hopefully you got that. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I'm going to go back to this uh, base color here. And again, I'm just going to paint because it gives it a, uh, as if the light source is coming from above or something, right? So I'm just going to do the same thing, right, again. It's um, just gonna. I don't want to paint all of it. Just give it a a, a texture look. Um, I'm using a really a soft brush, a soft transparency with some overlay brush to do this. So I can go over and and become like that. If you want a texture brush, you can do that. Uh, you can paint in the texture brush, but for this exercise, I'm just gonna do as if you want texture then you would just go in and do some you know these little streaks or create a smaller brush and cause these little hatching the hatch themselves um use a smaller brush oops I better save you can see that uh, my ram is being used up all right let's see press save there we go come in and if you you know do these hashing get a little smaller even though they're you know you're pressing harder it gives you that texture look let me uh zoom out a little bit so there's a uh, so you can actually see there's as if there's a texture here like that right then if you want more then just go in and, and, and uh, go to a softer brush because like that I want to give it a, as if that edge has been uh, like steel and metal and it's been worn a little bit, right? And uh, give it a, there we go. If there's, uh, you know, maybe the, the seam in the middle is what's doing the, 
the stuff. So now you have an idea. So, you know, if I want it darker here, I can probably add a little bit of blue, paint some blue, but I'll show you how to do shadows afterwards. So that's just the, the base part. And we also can come up here and let's say lights from the top. So let's give this, I'm not going to paint a lot here. Just give it a little bit of touch. There we go. Okay, and uh, this one is the eye and hair. So again, I'm just going to lock transparency because I'm just going to paint on this layer. That's not an issue. Uh, come in here, um, unless I want the eyes to be red. You know, just, there we go. I'm going to do that. Maybe give them a, a red base eye. There we go. Okay, uh, I should have gone darker. And there we go. The inside. All right. In a brush. Let's give it as if this his forehead is actually causing the shadow in the eye socket area. Right? Uh, if you want to go darker, just go a little bit darker and give it a more of a black in there, but I don't think you need to. Then, like, a, like again, when you're digital painting, you can actually go up. I'm just going to go up a little bit, put a little bit of white in there, and just do kind of like uh, as a reflective. Oops, all right. Let's see. There we go. And I go a little bit smaller brush. There we go. Maybe there's something in there in the eye. If you want to go white, you can, and just give it a... Uh, Like an anime kind of thing, but it's more of a uh, reflection in the eye. Maybe that's too much. Eh, it looks okay. Uh, that just give you an idea what what you can do with uh, from an eye perspective. So it's actually giving you that dead stare as if there's something's up. Uh, let's put a little bit of white, a little bit more white in this space here. As if the light's coming from somewhere that's causing that white space. Um, and maybe go with a dark red, thin, thin brush, go thinner, and his eyes is actually, uh, there we go. That's those, uh, little mucus thing or whatever, those little webbing in your eyes. Okay. There we go. I mean, unless you're looking really close, you'll never see it, but it's somehow that little detail does help out a lot. Okay, so that's that one. Then the beard and the hair. Let's go add a little bit of white in that space. So I'm just going to do as if it's uh, something. Just a simple highlight of light. I want to give too much. Say, hey, look. There's some light coming from somewhere. Like I said, there we go. Same thing with the, uh, go with a smaller brush. Here, larger brush for nice light. Okay, there's something here, but we don't know what it is. There we go. That is what I'm going to do. Okay, so first step, not thrilled with this, but uh, I'll fix it another time. Um, but give you an idea. Okay, so let's add some shadow. Okay, so the way I apply shadow is shadow is usually blue. You can go down, like pick a blue and just paint on there. Um, in this case, let's, let's show you how to do shadow. Uh, let's see, that's the base. So we're going to go on top and create a flare. Let's change that to a multiply or darken. That's what we call layer blending. And, um, what I'm going to do is pick a really dark blue. That's a nice blue right there. And for this area. So for example, if I want because shadows are, see how I'm, I'm blending, uh, it's a blue, it looks kind of black here, but when you look really closely, if I switch back to normal, see that's, you can see the blue, 
in that. But you can do darken, which gives it more of a darken, but I like using multiply. Multiply basically just for some reason add that little bit of uh, I'm using a large brush, so it's kind of laggy. But down here, I just want to give it a more of a shape as if this is part of the hand. Give it a little bit more. And under the neck, there, as if the uh, the mustache is um, giving another beard too. That's doing it. Okay. Same thing under here, maybe. I mean, it's a nice way to darken the image a little bit. That's too much. There we go. And under the ear. There we go. Now I want to give them more like something's there, but you know. Same thing goes here. You might see a little bit of blue come through, but it's rare. Let's see. Okay. So that's shadow. I think we're good. I think we're good. All right. Now what time is it? Ooh, almost two hours. Yeah, it's an hour and a half, I think, or something like that, live streaming. Everybody dropped out. All right, I'm going to call it. Uh, so that's me uh, doing a live stream for now. And we'll save that, and we'll do another one uh, another day. Okay? Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'll stop broadcasting, go and save, and I'll continue on, and I'll show you some more how to do backgrounds and some add lights and stuff like that, but I'm not going to... I'll stop for now. Okay. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you can subscribe and maybe I can get actually paid. <laughs> All right. Let's see. How do we do this? Uh, stop broadcasting. All right. Have a good night, guys.